Hey guys, this is Kristen and Jessica with Thrifty2. Um, we just wanted to come to you guys with a couple of our hauls that we did today because all new coupons started today. Um, these deals that we're about to show you are going to run until next Saturday. So if you see something here that you would like to do, I would go ahead and check your digitals on all the apps and go ahead and send those to your cards and you can get the same exact deals that we did today. So we have two Dollar General hauls, a CVS haul, and two Walgreens hauls for you today. One couple of the products that we did do are money makers. So if you really like these items, I for sure would go ahead and get you some because we got quite a few items today um, that we've been wanting to try for a while and they finally did a great sale. Um, we'll show you those because those are about $15 products that we got for next to nothing. So go ahead and keep watching and hope you like it. All right, guys. So first things first, we're going to head over here to our first Dollar General haul. Um, we got a few items here. It was kind of a smaller haul, but um, we're going to say that your best friend for getting these deals are your digital coupons. So go ahead and download the app, make yourself an account, and you can go ahead and send these coupons to your card and then you can get all of these sales. So the first item we have are the Always Pads. It's a 16 count. They're regular priced at $4. We used a $2 digital coupon, meaning we got the pads for $2. The next item are the Listerine Ready Tabs. Normal price is $3.50, and we used a $2 digital coupon, making them just $1.50. The next item is the Shave Cream, the Skin to Mint Shave Cream. Regular price, $3, and we used a dollar digital coupon, meaning we paid $2 for the shaving cream. The next deal is a store coupon, again on the app, and it's for the Reese's Candy. When you spend $7, you get $2 off, meaning we paid $5 out of pocket for seven packages of the Reese's. The last product for this haul was the Tide Simply Pods. They are regular priced at $2.95, and we used a $2 digital coupon, meaning we paid 95 cents for 13 pods. So these on the app, there is a Tide coupon. It's not necessarily for the Simply's, um, but it's all Tide products. So if you go into Dollar General and use the app, you can go ahead and just like scan any kind of product barcode, and it'll show you the coupons that you can send to your card. Just make sure for these to get them for 95 cents, you for sure want to get the 13 pack pods or else it won't work. You'll be paying a little bit more, maybe a few dollars. Okay, so then for the total breakdown, our total before coupons is $21.74. So we have $21 worth of product. After all of our coupons, we paid $12.74 out of pocket, meaning we saved $9 and we had a 49% savings. So we're going to go ahead and show you the receipt just so you can guys can kind of get a better breakdown if you guys do better with visuals. Okay, the next Dollar General haul, we're going over here. We got a few more products today. We got a couple more store deals. Um, so the first item again is the Tide Digital Pods. Again, just for a recap, they were $2.95. We used a $2 digital coupon, meaning we paid $0.95 cents for 13 pods. Which the coupon does apply because if you can tell, these are the Refreshing Breeze ones. And the other Dollar General ones we got are the um, Oxy Stain Fighters. It does apply to both of these scents. So you can get one of the other kind of like we did. Okay, so for the next item, we're going to look at this Skin to Mint Shave Cream. Regular price is $3. Again, we used a dollar digital coupon, meaning we paid $2. Um, one of the newer deals that we didn't have in the other haul was going to be the Dove. And this is a store deal, so you don't need any coupons for this. Um, it's automatic at the register. So when you spend $8, then you save $2. So we have seven products here. Um, we have some of the intensive repair cream and the body wash, the body bar. Um, so looking at this, we paid $8.00. Saved two, meaning we paid $6 out of pocket. Again, you don't need any kind of coupons for that. It's just a store sale, so it'll automatically come off at the register. Which, something we did um, for these kind of sales, it's just like the Reese's, it's a store sale. All of these Dove products are actually a dollar. So we went ahead and just got um, five of the dollar Dove beauty creams 
And this one was actually $2 because we had to make up for that $2 difference because they, of course, didn't have enough of the dollar items. So this was the only one that was $2. Our bar of soap was also a dollar. So make sure that for these kind of sales, you always check um, like the travel size areas or try to get stuff that's a dollar. You get way more for your money for paying a dollar. Okay, so then again, we have a recap on the Reese's. Um, it is a store coupon that you'll have to clip and send to your card. So if you spend $7, you get $2 back, meaning we paid $5 for seven packs of the Reese's. Now, also in this haul, we just had a little container of the Germex. We didn't have any coupons for that or anything, but they had it there and it was on, it had a price of $1.50. So we just went ahead and threw that in. Sorry, my seat receipt got ripped. But this is the receipt. Um, you can see our subtotal was $5.47 before taxes. So we paid $16.74. That gave us a 59% savings on all of these items. So if you look, this is our entire Dollar General haul. Each haul, we had almost 50% or more savings. So I think we did pretty great. Um, if you do go on Saturdays, you do get a five off of 25 coupon. We normally try to do smaller hauls like on our Sundays when we first get the coupons and then save our five for 25 during the week because they love to give you new coupons during the week that are better coupons to add that five to 25. So we will be going back to Dollar General. So this is not it for our Dollar General this week. So I'm gonna hand the phone so I can get a couple more of our hauls set up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the CVS haul and the Walgreens hauls brought up. Um, so just a minute for that. Um, but like she was saying, they do usually have $5 off of 25 when you spend $25 at Dollar General. But I do wanna bring up the fact that you have to spend $25 on any products before any of your store coupons. So if you were to use a store coupon on the ad, make sure you pay attention because your coupons will tell you if they are digitals. Hmm? And only some of the Dollar Generals, actually we just found this out, only some of the Dollar Generals are letting you use that coupon um, on top of other coupons. So it kind of really depends on the Dollar General that you go to. Um, they should, and according to their store policy, they have to allow you to stack that five off 25 with other coupons. So if you have any issues, just go ahead and call the Dollar General line and they should be able to help you out because that's what we have to do for our last week's transaction. Yeah, so just make sure you spend the $25 before uh, any of your, after your store coupons have been added, but after your manufacturer coupons. So some of the Dollar Generals are pretty picky about it, but um, just read your app carefully because some of those coupons do mention whether they are manufacturer or if they are store coupons. So it's just gonna be one more minute. We're gonna go ahead and get these other hauls set up for you. The next haul we have coming at you is CVS and it's a pretty small haul. So give us one minute. So this here is our CVS haul. Like I said, it's a pretty small haul, um, but what we did going in there this morning was trying to use up any of our CRTs that we're getting ready to expire. Now, if you guys don't know, CRTs are store coupons for CVS, but every time you walk into a CVS, they'll have a big red machine, and there you can scan your store card, like your membership card, and it'll go ahead and print off any of your CRTs that you might have. So you might get anything like $2 off of any kind of laundry soaps or shave items or anything like that. So we went in and just went ahead and used our CRTs that are getting ready to expire, but we did not do our full on CBS haul for the week as we're still waiting for some of our coupons. So this is just kind of what we had just to use up what we had that was going to expire. So the first item we're looking at are the Venus razors. The regular price for those are $9.79. They were on sale this week for $7.99. We did use a $3 off manufacturing digital coupon, and we used a $3 off of Venus and Gillette CRT. 
meaning we paid $1.99 out of pocket after the coupons. And the last item is this is the Chic Intuition Razor, regular priced at $14.49. They had a sale this week for $9.99. We used a $4 off manufacturing digital coupon. And then we went ahead and used one of our $3 beauty bucks that we got from last week. Now, if you guys don't know, CVS does a promotion where every time you spend $30 in beauty, you receive $3 back. So we received that last week. So we just went ahead and put that towards this small haul. So we did use a $3 beauty buck, meaning we paid $2.99 out of pocket for a $15 razor. Um, so our total before any kind of coupons for these two items was $25.33. And out of pocket after tax, we spent $6.03, of course, adding in that $3 beauty buck, which acts just like cash meaning we saved $19.30 and we had a 79% savings. Which I'm actually really excited about these. Um, I've been try wanting to try them for a really long time. Depending on the store that you go to, these can actually run you like 20 some dollars. Um, thankfully they were on sale this week and we were able to scoop these up for only $2.99. And they come with an extra refill in the bottom. So technically we have four blades that we can use and we only paid $2.99. So I'm really excited about these. Okay, so our next haul is our Walgreens haul. We did do two different transactions at Walgreens. This was our first transaction and our largest transaction. We will say we had the best luck this week so far at Walgreens. They have really nice sales. So go ahead and get yourselves out to Walgreens, snap up these sales before they go off sale. Like we said, their sales will run through Saturday. So next Sunday, they start a whole new week of sales. So try to head out and get your sales done before sat before Sunday. So the first item, we got these nice bags. They're freezer bags. And on sale this week, they are buy one at $2.79 and get two for free, meaning we got three boxes for just $2.79. The next item is the Garnier Fructis. These here are, are on sale this week for two, to, for two for seven. So we got one smoothing milk, which is regular priced at $4.49. This week they were on sale for $3.99. And we got one leave-in conditioner with a regular price of $3.99. We used a $3 off digital manufacturing coupon. And we used a dollar off IBC coupon. Now I'll explain to you what an IBC is. When you go into Walgreens, every month they have a different booklet that you can grab. These are located usually right up next to the ads, right when you walk in the door. And these have all types of IBC coupons, which are just store coupons. So keep in mind that at Walgreens, for each item that you buy, you can use one manufacturing coupon and one store coupon, or one IBC as they call them. So make sure every month you're stopping up by the ads and grabbing yourself a new book. Now keep in mind to use these IBCs, you do not have to clip them out of the book. All you have to do is show it to the cashier. She'll scan it and it'll apply to every product in your haul. Okay, so then like I said, we used a dollar IBC coupon in the Walgreens book, meaning after coupons, we paid $3 for two or $1.50 each. The next item was the Purcell laundry detergent. This was a really good sale. I will say that they sold out pretty fast. We went first thing this morning right when they opened, probably about 10 minutes after they opened, and they didn't have any left on the shelf, but thank goodness the manager helped us out and he actually had a couple bottles in the back. So he went ahead and let us have what he had left. Um, so they're regular priced at $7.49. They were on sale this week for $4.99. That's a great deal already, but of course, knowing us, we had to go ahead and use some coupons. Um, we had some paper coupons that you can find in your newspaper inserts. I can't remember what insert it was. I wanna say it was the 426 insert, but I'm not 100% sure. But these did expire today. So we wanted to go ahead and use those. So we did use a $2 paper manufacturing coupon. Again, you can find those in your Sunday newspaper inserts meaning we paid $2.99 out of pocket. But keep in mind that for this deal at Walgreens, if you buy a parcel, you get 2,000 points, which is equivalent to $2. So we did pay $2.99 out of pocket, but they went ahead and added $2 worth of points to our card that we can later use for another transaction, meaning we paid just 99 cents for this bottle of laundry detergent. The next item was the Always Liners. 
Now I'm gonna say we were really excited about these. One, because the regular price for these is $4.29, but we found these on clearance and our digital did go ahead and attach. So keep in mind that when you go into the store, use your app, you can scan any item and it will tell you any kind of digital coupons that you have that will attach to this item. So we found this in the clearance section. Our digital coupon went ahead and attached. So regular price, $4.29. They were on clearance for $3.29. We went ahead and used a $2 digital coupon, meaning we paid $1.29 out of pocket, which is a great deal for those. So again, always keep a lookout for your clearance items. A lot of people don't know that you can use any of your coupons on clearance items. So keep that in mind, get the best for your money. There are 24 in here, I believe. Um, you also need to watch your coupons for such as the quantities. Um, we got lucky, especially since these were on clearance, that they fit our coupon restrictions. So for that specific coupon for the discrete, normally it's 24 liners or more. Um, so if you see like the $2 packs, normally you can't get those because of course there's not enough in there. Okay. So the next item is the Snuggle, and this is fabric softener. So regular price for this is $4.99. They have it on sale this week for $2.99. We used a dollar digital coupon, meaning we paid $1.99 out of pocket after the coupons. The next item is cereal. We did find this Pop-Tart cereal, which we were really excited about. We've never tried it. Um, but regular price for this is $4.29 or two for seven this week. Um, this week they actually do have the individual boxes on sale for $1.99. We did have a 50 cent digital coupon, meaning we paid $1.49 for the box. The next item are the Renews It Cones. Now the regular price for these is $1.99 or two for three, but they had a sale this week at 89 cents a piece. So we did have a digital coupon where you buy four, you get two for free and it's a digital coupon. Again, you go ahead and add that to your card. Um, so meaning we paid $3.56 for four and got two for free. The next item we're gonna look at is the Blink Eye Drops. This is a fantastic deal. Keep your eye out for these. We did again have some coupons, some paper coupons from our newspaper that was getting ready to expire. So we went ahead and used these. Regular price for these is $7.79. We used a $3 off manufacturing paper coupon that we found in our newspaper. Again, I can't remember what insert it was. Um, and then we also paired that with an IVC coupon. Like I said, keep that in mind that you can use a manufacturer and an IVC or store coupon stacked on top of each other, meaning you can bring your out of pocket down to a lower price. So our IVC coupon was worth $4 and our manufacturer dollar, uh, coupon was worth $3, meaning we paid just 79 cents out of pocket for this. Okay, so for the last item that we got for this haul, we got Listerine. So the first item is the Ready Tabs. The regular price for the Ready Tabs is $2.99. There was no sale this week, uh, but we did pair it with coupons. We used a $2 manufacturing digital coupon, meaning we paid 99 cents out of pocket. We paired this with the Listerine Total Care mouthwash Regular price for this is $8.29. We did not have any kind of coupon for the mouthwash. So for the mouthwash, we did pay the $8.29. But keep in mind this week that Walgreens has a sale on Listerine that if you spend $10, you get 5,000 points, meaning you get $5 back. So with the ready tabs and the Listerine mouthwash, our total... Um, was 9.28. So then we did get 5,000 points back uh, from Walgreens, which is equivalent to $5. Again, send to your card that you can use at a later time. Um, and then we went ahead and you can submit your receipt to Listerine.com and they will give you a $5 gift card just for buying the mouthwash. So that means we're gonna get $10 back and we only paid $9.28. So this Listerine right here was a 72 cent money maker. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and pull up our last haul, which is gonna be our second transaction for Walgreens. So give us just one minute. 
Oh, I did want to go ahead and add that for our other Walgreens. We did have, if you looked at your ad this week, there is a little coupon in the bottom corner that I think it's called a 10 times daily point booster. So we did use that to go ahead and get more points, which equivalent to more money on our cards that we can use at a later date. Okay, so this is our last haul. This is our second transaction for Walgreens. Again, we had the nice bags, just to recap. These are on sale this week. Buy one for $2.79, get two for free, meaning we paid $2.79 for three boxes of freezer bags. The next item again is the parcel. We did go ahead and do two different transactions because we had so many coupons to try to use up before they expired. Um, so for this, we did get two bottles of the parcel, but we only had a coupon for one. So again, the regular price for the parcel is $7.49. This week they were on sale uh, for $4.99. We bought two. And then we went ahead and used a $2 off paper coupon found in your newspaper inserts, meaning we paid $2.99 for one of them and $4.99 for the other. So we paid $7.98 out of pocket for two of them. And again, keep in mind that for each bottle, we got 2,000 points back, which is equivalent to $2. So we bought two bottles, meaning we got $4 back added to our card. The next item is the Skin to Mint Razors. These here, regular priced at $9.49. They're on sale this week for $5.99. We used a $3 off digital coupon, meaning we paid $2.99 for this item. Next is gonna be the Skin to Mint Shave Gel. This was priced at $3.79. We bought two, um, and then we used a dollar off digital coupon for one of them. We did not have another um, coupon. But keep in mind that I do believe some of them there had some peelies on them, which is a coupon that's attached to the bottle. So then you could have went ahead and used that other dollar off coupon. But we only had one of those coupons, meaning we paid $2.79 after coupons. We also bought us the other Skin to Mint Shave Gel, but we paid $3.79 for that since we didn't have another coupon. The last item was the Chic Intuition, regular priced at this store for $12.99. They're on sale this week for $8.99. We used a $4 off digital manufacturing coupon, meaning we paid $4.99 after coupons. Now keep in mind that this week at Walgreens, they have a sale on, I believe it's the Skin to Mint. If you spend $20, you get 4,000 points, which is equivalent to $4. So for these shave items here, the two shave gels and the two sets of razors, we paid $22.56 before our coupons, total out of pocket after coupons, and after that $4 reward that we're gonna get back, we paid $10.56, meaning that for this entire purchase, we had a 67% savings. So we did awesome. Again, we're just gonna show you guys the receipt in case you guys are more visual learners. And for this one, I did have um, $20 in Walgreens rewards that I went ahead and used. So instead of paying $28.86 out of my pocket, I only paid $8.86 for two things of laundry soap, the really expensive razors, a four pack of razors, two shaving creams, and four bags. So I only paid $8.86 out of my own pocket. So getting that extra Walgreens cash yeah, sometimes you may pay a little bit more out of pocket, which we really didn't because we had really great coupons this week, but it does add up. So when you do hauls like this or get like the Chic Intuitions that we really wanted to try, you have money for Walgreens that you can use just to cover it. So I think we actually did really well this week. So remember, if there's any deals that you see here, they will run until Saturday. We are going to go ahead and try to do a YouTube PowerPoint with kind of our breakdowns on them and the coupons that you're gonna need and all that. So if you guys wanna go ahead over to our YouTube, it's also Thrifty2 over there. Um, and you can get some of these great deals yourself. 
Um, I do have to say couponing is probably one of the greatest things I've done. Um, if you see our page, we have saved almost $300 in our stockpiles and it's just a great way to save your family money. So we want to try to help everybody we can. We may be posting some classes soon. So if you want to go ahead and keep an eye out for those, but go ahead and like our page, share our page because we want to help our fellow couponers out there just like they've helped us. So go ahead and head over to our YouTube as well. We also have Instagram. Um, and like I said, we'll be doing a breakdown of this, these few hauls. Not a lot of stuff, but quite a bit for our money. We probably spent maybe 50 bucks today at three stores. So go ahead and keep an eye out for our YouTube video and go ahead and get yourself these deals before they expire. Like we said, they're all almost digital coupons, so you really don't need any newspaper coupons. So really, anybody can do these deals. So we want to go ahead and say thank you all for watching and keep an eye out for our other live videos because we want to try to do this more. So we hope you all have a great night and keep couponing.